Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's episode, I'll be teaching you how to get the T51B power armor in Fallout 3. Now, to get this, you want to make sure that you've unlocked the Citadel first. Now, to do so, you need to complete some of the main quests until you make it up to the Citadel, then they'll let you inside. And once you're inside, you want to talk to Paladin Gunny, who will give you power armor training. Now, if you've already done this, already have power armor training, just skip this step. But once you're inside, you want to find Paladin Gunny. Now, he's right over here. Initiate, you've got a lot of nerve to interrupt. Oh, my apologies, stranger. I thought you were one of these worthless initiates. I swear, these kids would be lost without me here to powder their asses. Can you train me to use power armor? Heard you were coming. Yeah, I can train you, but don't ask me to like it. My initiates sweat blood. And you just get a free pass? Anyway, you ready for this? Now look, to wear power armor, first thing you need to do is relax your muscles. Let the suit do the work, okay? Now you. Peck added, you have received the specialized training needed to move in any form of power armor. What aid can I offer you, outsider? I have to go now. If you'll excuse me, I need to go show these fish how to shoot straight. Alright, so we've just got the power armor training pack. Now, you don't get any power armor with this. Actually, yes you do. You get power armor with this, so you'll get a free suit of power armor. But this isn't the suit that we're looking for. We're looking for the T-51B power armor. The... What we need to do next is we need to head over to the Museum of History. And I'll be right with you once we've got to the museum. Okay, so once you find the Museum of History, it's right here on the map. And once you make it there, you want to head straight inside. And once you're inside, you want to go straight forward. And you want to go inside these, these doors right here. And it should say Underworld Journey. You want to head straight inside. Would you look at that? We got us a smooth skin visitor. Ooh wee, we ain't seen one of your type in a long time. Smooth skin, what does that mean? Smooth skin? You know, because your skin is so smooth and tasty. Relax, I'm just kidding. But I had you going, didn't I? Where am I? You're in Underworld, smooth skin. It's the only safe place for we ghouls in D.C. We're here out of sight and out of mind. The mutants leave us alone, and the slavers usually don't come this far into the city, so it's not bad. Really, the Brotherhood of Steel is the only thing we have to worry about. So long as we don't leave Underworld, that is. Alright, I'm going to have a look around. Enjoy your stay. Just try and keep from shooting up the place. We got a nice little deal going on down here. We'd like to keep it nice. Let me know if you need something. Okay, so once you're inside, you want to head straight upstairs and then go through into this room here. And then go into this room right here. Yes. Now normally if he's not inside here, you'll just go into the other room. Go straight into this room. Now once you're inside this room, um, Mr. Crowley will either appear in the room we was just in, or this room. Now you want to talk hey, to you. Mr. Crowley. Yeah, what are you looking at? You'd think you'd never seen a ghoul up close before. Alright, so once you've talked to Mr. Crowley, Crowley, I mean, you want to say... Easy now. I've got nothing against ghouls. Is that so? Even if I call you a milk-sucking, mutant-loving, water-stealing son of a whore? All true, except for the part about the mutants. The water and the, and the whore. <laughs> I like a human that knows his place. Too many of you think we're all just zombies. They don't know or don't care that we're just as human as they are inside. We bleed, we hurt, we regret. 
And you know what really pisses me off? They think the only way to kill us is to shoot us in the head, like in the old zombie stories, and that'll put us out of our misery. Hey, I know. Maybe you could help me even the score. Okay, what's the plan? Not everyone is as sympathetic to ghouls as you are. In fact, some humans are downright bigots. They treat us like zombies, calling us brain eaters and shufflers. Well, I'm gonna make them pay. Uh, before I get into the details, you don't have anything against killing, do you? The day isn't complete until I've killed something. Well, aren't you the bloodthirsty type? I got this list of people. Ghoul bigots. Real scum. I've only got four guys left on the list. Started out with eleven. All of them hate ghouls and treat us like we're zombies. They all deserve to die. But it has to be done with a headshot. Just like the old stories where zombies can only be killed that way. I'll pay you a hundred caps for each one. Twenty-five if they die some other way. Sure, people like that don't deserve to live. Excellent. Take this sniper rifle. You'll need it. Here's a list of the guys and their last known locations. Word will get around if Tenpenny's killed, but I'll need proof for the others. Bring me back something personal from each of them as proof. Like a key, a ring or something. Bye. Alright, so after you've talked to him, you'll start the quest. you got to shoot him in the head. Now, in this quest, you have to... Get all the keys. Now, we already have Dave's key, so we can skip that part. But I'll also teach you how to get Dave's key. We're just gonna leave. So the first person we're gonna kill is we're gonna go after Dave's key. And, um, yeah, I'll see you when we're at Dave's place. Okay, guys, so once you've made it to the Republic of Dave, I'll show you where it is on the map. It's right here, top right corner. This is where you go to also get a unique weapon to. So once you're ready, you want to head straight inside. Now Dave will be sitting in this chair, but I've already killed him and took his key, so I don't need to do that anymore. Yeah, but he'll be sitting in this chair. Just kill him, take his key, you can use it to open this and steal some stuff. And yeah, so now on to the next target, which is... Kill Ted Strayer and get his key. So I'll be back once I find Ted Strayer. Okay, so you need to go to Rivet City. Now, once you've made it to Rivet City, you want to head straight inside on the left. And we're going to go find Ted Strayer. So it's fairly easy to find, actually. So he should be down here, over in this room, if you followed where I am. I got a bit lost there, sorry about that. But he should be right here, now you want to talk to him. Good. Ted Strayer, you can chill with me if you want, dude. Sounds like a plan, man. Alright, you and me, just hanging. Do you know Mr. Crowley? Whoa, that's a blast from the past. My dad knew a dude named Crowley. I never met him, though. I think dad said he died when they were checking out some old fort. Do you know what they were doing at the fort? Nah. 
He said that old man Tenpenny hired him and some other guys to go in there, but he never said why. My dad made enough caps off it to set him up good, though. Can you think of a reason he might want you dead? No shit. That dude wants me dead? If you give me something personal of yours as proof, I'll lie to Mr. Crowley. Whoa. Is this like worth caps? Cause I got needs, man. Just give me all your stuff and don't ask any questions. Okay, dude. Don't have a cow. Here, take it all. Alright, so we just got um Ted Strayer's key. And we got a ten millimeter pistol, which is just pointless. So now after we've just gone to Ted Strayer, we'll now go for our next target, which is Hill Dukov and get his key. So I'll be back once I find Dukov. Okay, so once you make it to Dukov's place, it'll be here on the map, right next to the tepid sewers. And once you make it here, you just want to head straight inside. And talk to Dukov. Who the hell are you? Never mind. You need a drink. Cherry, I'm thirsty over here. Someone said you might know Mr. Crowley. Care to comment? He's fucking dead, that's what I can tell you. Feral ghouls ripped his nuts off and ate them for dinner. Crowley's alive and he paid me to kill you because he... because you hate ghouls. What? Fuck me sideways! No, better yet, fuck him! I swear I'll jam a grenade so far up his ass! I got nothing against ghouls, ha! Huh? I even had a ghoul party girl once to see what it was like. This is about the key, isn't it? The goddamn key. If you want it, I better see some fucking caps on the table, clown shoes. Here's 200 caps. Give me something to prove I killed you. Now that's what I'm talking about. You don't even know what's going on, do you, clown shoes? <laughs> you just bought yourself a motherfucking key. Now take it and get the hell out of here. Don't let the door hit you in the ass, clown shoes. Ha <laughs> ha! You got your goddamn key? Isn't that enough? You need to drink more. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, so once you've got all of those keys, you don't need to kill ten penny. You won't need to kill Tenpenny to get his key. All you need is Dave's key, Ted Strayer's key, and Dukov's key. Now once you've got all of their keys, you need to head over to Fort Bannister. Now I will see you once I make it to Fort Bannister. Okay, so I was wrong guys. The place we're going to is actually called Fort Constantine. So I was a little wrong there. So this is where it is on the map. It's um kind of north, north east northwest would i say so yeah this is where it is on the map it's called fort constantine not fort bannister yeah so once you make it here you'll um encounter some robots and you'll have to kill them and hold on if you look to your left you'll see this house right here now you want to go inside Now you want to come down here, and on your left you'll see a stealth boy, Chinese army spec ops training manual, you'll see the big guns bobblehead which you can get here, some caps, ammo, Fort Constantine launch codes, all that stuff, some pre-war money. After you've collected all that, 
um, you want to head straight inside here and you want to use the use the key that you collected. So that opens with Ted Strayer's key. I'm gonna head straight inside. straight down here. There will be some robots to kill as well. Yeah, you can search the place for some loot too, because they've got quite a lot of that here. Now after you've done that, you want to head um, straight down these stairs right here. And go right. You'll find a big book of science here too. And a duck and cover book. You wanna head straight downstairs? One more hit. You want to head straight down here into the bomb storage. Now head right. Now you want to go into this door on the left right here and you'll see a dead ra raider called Tara. And she'll have the warhead storage key. Now you want to use the key to open this. Actually it unlocks with Dave's key but whatever. You want to open this door. And inside will be the T-51B power armor. Now you want to use the terminal to unlock it. Disable status field. And then you want to collect the power armor. Now, this is what the power armor stats are. So it does a damage rating, actually... Um, it has 50 protection, has a weight of 40 and a value of um, 1000 caps, and it's at full condition too. And it has a rad resist of 25, and the helmet gives plus 1 to your charisma, 8 plus to your rad resistance, 10 to your protection, 4, it weighs 4, and a value of 120. So we can repair this whenever with our other power armor. Need to get rid of some of these. So I can make room for it. So yeah, I'll show you what the power armor looks like. This is what it looks like. Also on the side here you have a fat man and some mini nukes. And a medicine journal magazine. 
But if you want to take that as well, you can. So, uh, yeah, this has been my guide on how to get the T51B power armor in Fallout 3. Now, before I end the video, I want to mention, next video I will definitely be doing a campaign mission because a lot of people have been wanting me to do that so far. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye.